Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can enable the hidden dark theme that's built into Windows 10. Now I know a lot of people aren't using Windows 10 but there is a lot of people out there that are using it and they do like their dark themes. I like dark themes because they're much more easier on the eye, they'd stop you from straining as much and they just look a lot more nicer. But in Windows 10 they have one built in and I'll show you what I mean. So if you take a look at settings you'll see here when I open this full screen this is all sort of grey colour. Uh, on my screen it's a grey colour. Um, but you want to darken this down, you can make this a black colour. And also if you look at other parts like personalise, you'll see all this area is grey and this is all white. So you can change all these areas and even on calculator and all those other parts, everything will be changed to a black. Okay. So we're going to need to go to our registry editor. To do that, we're going to go to the start button and type reg edit. And then open up the registry editor by clicking on reg edit and say yes to the user account control. This will open up our registry editor. So to create a backup, you would want to click on computer and export. Call this backup. And you can put it wherever you like. I'm going to leave mine in my uh, documents folder. So now we should have our backup inside our documents folder. Here is our backup of our registry, just in case something goes wrong. Inside here, we're going to first start off with the H key local machine. Just use these little pull down tabs at the side here. And the next one we're going to go to is software. Come all the way down to Microsoft, then Windows, pull it all the way down until you see Windows, open that tab up and then current version, and then we want to go to themes, just here like so. Now on the themes one, make sure you've got the themes highlighted here like so, and then we're going to right click on here and do new keyword just like so. Now we need to put personalize here. Make sure you spell it exactly correct how it should be spelt here otherwise it won't work. Now on the right hand pane here we need to right click here and do new D word 32 bit value and now we need to put in another name here And then we need to make sure that you're spelling it exactly how it's spelt here. Then double click on this and you'll see a value inside here and we want to leave this as zero. Now if you want to disable this afterwards, just double click on this and then put a one in here and that will disable the dark theme. Or you can just delete the key that you created. Next we need to go back. To a new location and we want to do the H key current user this time and then we want to follow the same path which is software Microsoft come all the way down Windows current version and then themes and you can see there is a personalized inside here so we're okay here, we don't need to do the personalize. So we're now on the right hand pane here, we're just going to do a new D word, 32 bit value. And we're going to type in the same as we typed before. Just like so. And leave that as is. And if you want to change these back, again, it will be the same process. Either delete the key or use a one and it will um, delete that off. So we can now close this off and reboot our computer.
So now we're back at the desktop. Let's take a look at our settings area. And you can see we have this nice dark type feeling. It's like a charcoal colour or black. It's not sure if it is black, but it's more like a, a grey charcoal colour. Um, but everything will be the same on all the areas that you look now. So personalise, you'll see that this is all dark. And this may not be for everyone, but if you do like the dark theme, then this is the uh, way to create the hidden dark theme in Windows 10. So I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that, then head over to the forums and post on there. That's the, probably the best place to get hold of me. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, the information's on the screen right now. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.